What inanimate object do you not get along with? Printers. They can sense your fear. My alarm clock. Furniture. Specifically the corners of furniture. They don't quite agree with my toes. That one teaspoon in the drawer that I dislike for no reason at all. Vacuums. I have such an unfound hatred for them. Latex. I'm allergic to it. Even touching it makes my hand feel it's on fire. I have to be very careful not to touch it. And you'd be surprised the amount of things that have latex in them. Goddamn pencil sharpeners. I swear every time I use one the lead, I know it's not actually lead, but it just sounds right. Always snaps out and it's so annoying. Sometimes I actually use scissors to like whittle it to a point. Area rugs. You step on them the wrong way and poof it's forever. Good luck getting it back in that perfect spot again. Mannequins. Creepy things. Spider webs. It's so annoying when my face runs into one. Fitted bed sheets. Umbrellas. I hate carrying them around and prefer to have both my hands unoccupied. That foldable mini table. I swear it has a vendetta against me. My Roomba. It randomly follows scheduled cleaning and it regularly gets stuck on a cliff. For no reason and then bothers me at work with texts pleading for help. It also has issues finding its base to recharge and gets wedged under that one chair. It is by far the stupidest, smart, home device I own. And I own dozens. My cousin gave it to me as a Christmas present and I swear to this day that she knew it'd be a complete joke and frustrate me constantly. My mission for the next seven months or so is to find something that seems great at first but that will annoy the ever living out of her daily so I can gift it to her this Christmas. I'm open to suggestions. Doorknobs. Sewing machines. They are my enemy. Doorknobs man. I have a near constant bruise on my forearm from smacking into them. Keys. It always takes me at least two tries to unlock the door. Super creepy Alexa things, or whatever they're called. All of them. Printers my goodness. I've been waiting for the iPhone of printers where everything just works and connects and prints. For I don't know how many years now. We have the technology. Why do sucky printers still exist? The shower control. The water temperature is either too hot or too cold. Can rarely find that sweet spot in the control setting where it's just right. The Bluetooth on my car stereo. What's the point on turning on auto pairing if you never even bother to search for my phone when I turn the car on and I have to click your connection on my phone to remind you that it exists? Our granite coffee table. It likes to eat shins and kneecaps. And it doesn't budge a millimeter when it does so. Even if you just barely nick the corner. You're in for a bad day. I have permanent shin dents from it. Printers. Me. Has a black and white document printer. I want magenta me. But it's black and white printer. Bluetooth. Searching. Searching. Device not found. Refresh. Searching. Frozen. Hit Bluetooth off. Turning Bluetooth off. Dot 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 dot. Bluetooth off. Turn Bluetooth on. Searching. Hid keyboard device. Pair. Pairing. 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 Use pin 637473. Yes. Connecting. Unsuccessful. The sinks with no touch sensors for water and soap at my work. It's a battle to receive a squirt of soap and then it's a battle keeping the water running long enough to wash it off. The TV remote. You press a button twice and it thinks you pressed it a hundred times. 
You aim it at the TV and it thinks you're aiming it at the window. Spoons with different pattern with the others. I'm really showing my age with this one. But, landline phones. I hate hearing them ring. I hate the sense of urgency. As suddenly I have drop whatever the I'm doing to go answer it. I'm 28 and can't use clean wrap. Update. Ah. Thanks for all the messages of support you guys. But I made peace with my incompetence along.